Hey guys, and welcome back to this YouTube channel. My name is Dr. Wallace, as you already know now. Guys, today is a freaking beautiful day. I just woke up in my apartment in Dubai and I just decided to put together a very nice video for you guys. It's a question that I seem to get asked all the time. And I realized that, guys, trust me, 90% of traders struggle with this issue. And uh, what exactly the issue? The issue goes, I have a small trading account. How do I grow my small trading account? Because the truth is, a lot of people come into this industry um, with some little amount of change in their pocket. And they feel like Forex is going to be that savior that's going to help them quit their job. You know, So they just have this little money and then they just want to start trading. You know, I start making some money in the market. So most of the traders who actually come to the market are coming in with about maybe hundred dollars, five hundred dollars, one thousand dollars. So I've decided to do a video, this video, as to how you can go about growing your small account, the most realistic way to do it, and how I did it myself personally. Okay, guys. So if you want to find out how you can grow your small trading account, I suggest you stick around. Uh, but before I even get into any of the nitty gritties of this video, I want you to do me a favor. Like you know, this video takes effort, time, stress, research. Like me, I'm trying to balance this damn camera right now. It seems to be tilting like this. So it takes me a lot of time to put this content together. All I need from you to do as you're watching this is to please ensure to subscribe. Hit that subscribe button right now. Hit the like button and don't forget, you have to watch till the end. And this is what makes YouTube happy with me, right? This is what makes the channel grow. You have to watch the damn thing till the end. Don't worry, it's gonna be interesting and value packed and you will learn a lot from this as well. And don't forget to drop me a comment at the very end if you found this video very helpful. Now, guys, let's get into this. So, um, a little conversation, like this is going to be, usually my videos are like bullet points, points, straight, 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 straight. But this, this time around, I want it to be more like a conversation. Do not worry, I shall give you all the tricks and tips you need to grow your small trading account. Alright guys, so first of all, um, let me just get into this, right? So the truth, about growing your, the truth about growing a small trading account is that it is very, very possible you can definitely grow your small trading account into whatever size you want to do. Like I have, I have done that in the past. I've done that several times. Um, I know people that have done it. Um, it is very, very, very extremely possible. But you have to understand that, listen guys, you're going against all odds. You have to understand that you're going up against, like you're going up against the odds because um, the market is not just structured that way. Like the market favors people with large account sizes who risk small to win big, who want to grow their account gradually. So coming from somebody like you who has a small trading account and you want to grow it, you know, to a massive account size, you have to understand that this takes some next level amount of skill and a great deal of luck. Um, that's just the truth. You know me, I always tell you guys the truth. So it takes a great deal amount of, it takes a, a lot of skill, um, like your technicals need to be on point and then a decent amount of luck is required to make this happen. But not to worry, I'll break down the entire process for you guys right about here. So now let's, 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 let's realistically speak about how we can achieve this. First of all, I have, to, I have to send out a note, a warning to you guys. If you have a large account size, large account size meaning that you have $5,000 and above, please, what I'm going to explain in this video is not meant for you. This, this video is meant for people who have 1K and below, okay? Maybe 2K and below. I advise 1K and below, right? If you have a large account size, you have no business trying to um, scale your account at such a fast pace. You have to be patient and you have to grow your account consistently and profitably. But if you have a small account size, then well, this 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 exactly is for you. All right, guys. So like I was saying, let's let's talk about how we can realistically achieve this. First of all, you have to accept the fact. Um, so we're going to be working with um, between the range of hundred dollars to five hundred dollar account, right, all the way up to one k. So we have to realistically actually let's work with a five hundred dollar account, right. So we have to realistically accept the fact that we're going to be 
we are going to be risking a significant amount of our account. Because think about it, if indeed you want to grow your account at a fast pace, you're going to need to risk big to win big. There's no way out of it. Because if you're following the traditional risk management strategy that I preach, um, risk 3% to make 10%, think about it, 10% of $500 is 50 bucks. Ain't nobody got time to sit in a whole ass trade just to make 50 bucks. I ain't got time for that shit, right? And I know you, you guys ain't got time for that shit as well. So you have to accept the fact that you're going to be risking a significant amount of your, what, of your account. All right, guys, so now that we have that out of the way, the very first thing you want to do, actually, is you want to try as much as possible to establish a plan, okay? I want you, so, for instance, I'll give you the roadmap for $500 to 5K right about now. First of all, establish a plan. By establishing a plan, we know that we have to know the starting point and we have to know the end point. You can't just, like, you, at the beginning, you must establish where am I going with this, Okay, usually if I'm gonna do a crazy stunt by taking 1K to 10K, I know I'm getting to 10K and I know I'm stopping at 10K because if you don't have an end game, you would continue to trade endlessly and recklessly and what's gonna happen, you will blow your account. You have nothing, okay? So first of all, we establish a plan. We wanna take this account from $500 to $5,000 and then we withdraw the proceeds. Rule number one, you need to print this out and staple this in your damn trading station or office. Rule number one, we have we know the starting point and we know the end point and we must stop at the what at the end point. So guys, if you're looking to realistically grow a $500 account, your risk ideally should be about 20%. So now we've done spoken about establishing a plan and now we're over to the risk, the risk aspect of things. 20% is what you should be looking to risk. So 20% is 20% of $500 is 100 bucks, right? So I've written it down. I know I'm gonna have my $500 account size, okay? I wanna grow it to 5K, okay? My risk per trade, okay, has to be 20%. Now, once I'm able to establish my overall risk, now I know that, yo, listen, hundred dollars I only have hundred dollars five times that's just the truth like I only have a hundred dollars five times meaning that I only have five lives you only have five lives this is what a lot of people fail to realize like if we're gonna do this right we have to know we only have five lives <laughs> we only have five lives so you have to put this at the, you know you have to put this into consideration like I'm gonna risk 20% of my account a hundred dollars and I can only do this five times until I am what F okay so once you have this at the back of your mind, you're like, hmm, now you start to be a lot more what a lot more careful. Now on the upside, uh, 20%, you're looking to risk 20% at the risk to reward ratio of three to one. So you're looking to make about um, $300 on every single trade, right? $300 on every single on, on every single day. So I've done the calculation here. So on your very first trade, you should have returned about 60% of your account size, about 60%, which is $300. So on your very first trade, if you risk 20% and you make back $300, your account size is now what? $800. Now guys, there's a very important part that a lot of people fail to realize when you're trying to grow a small account to a bigger account size. Never never mess with your risk management process your plan what does this mean it's simple i see a lot of people so now we've grown our 500 dollars to 800 dollars. a lot of people will then recalculate the whole thing based on 800 dollars. we calculated our risk based on 500 dollars. 20 percent of that is 100 bucks when we get to 800 dollars, we are still going to risk just a a hundred dollars per trade don't get to $800 and then try and calculate 20% of that, which turns to about $160 and then now start. No, no, no. That's not the way to go about it because what will happen is you will climb slow but fall very fast. You will climb slow but fall very fast. So what I, what I usually like to do when I'm trying to grow, like I do this for fun anyways. What I, do, what, what I usually like to do when I'm trying to grow a small account to a big size is 
I will stick to the original risk profile, which is 20% of the original account size, which is $100 in this case. I will stick to it for at least seven to eight trades. So let's do the math, right? If I win, rather I make $300, okay? Seven times, I would have returned $2,100, right? If we add our initial $500 to it, so we're looking at about $2,600, right? Our end goal is what? $5,000, right? You can see how close we are to our goal, right? You have to understand that, guys, sticking to your risk profile is actually what is going to save you throughout this whole process. Because I've seen people take their accounts from 1K to 10K. Once they get to 11K, 12K, they just fall. And once you start falling, you never stop falling. You fall all the way back down to your 1K and then you drop it even lower and then you lose everything. Like you take your 1K to 10K and then you just drop, right? So what I like to do here is, guys, this, this is a tip for you guys. What I like to do here, guys, is um, once I get to about the seventh or eight winning trade or the seventh, maybe I've grown my account by about 500%. Um, what, what I like to do is maybe $500, $500. Once I get to 3K, then I can now reevaluate my risk profile. Now I can start risking. And guys, when I get to 3K, I'm not going to risk 20% of my account. I will then reduce my risk profile to 10% but of 3k this way i'm now risking 300 dollars and think about it guys if you have a risk to reward ratio of three to one um you have a 300 dollars risk you're gonna win times three of that so that's 900 dollars you're gonna make back right at 2600 dollars which we've currently grown to all it takes me is two more trades okay of three to one risk to reward ratios because now we're currently risking $300. Guys, I hope you understand what I'm saying. Okay, I'll, I'll do a quick recap. So, so at this point now, for every trade we're placing, we're risking $300, right? And we're looking to make back $900. So our current account size is two six, so let's say 3K. Okay. All you need is two winning trades and you've hit your target. So what I'm trying to say here in essence is I will stick for this first seven trades. I will keep my risk profile the same. Okay. I will keep my risk profile the same. Okay. If I have a $500 account, I will risk a hundred dollars to make $300 for at least the first six to seven trades. Once I have seen that I've been able to build my account up to 500%, then I can now recalculate my risk based on the current account size after seven profitable trades. Then I can now, first of all, recalculate the risk based on the current account value, which in this case is $3,000. However, I would not still use 20%, I will reduce it to 10%. And guys, in two winning trades, you have You've reached your goal. So in about nine to ten trades, in about nine to ten trades, you have massively grown your account by one thousand percent. Okay. Now, guys, all of this is obviously easier said than done. Um, there's one more tip that I like to have. I like to add here is um, you must have a trade plan. I I want to encourage you guys to only do this when the market is trending. You only want to try and buy. I would only, I only ever do stuff like this. It's, for me, it's fun, right? I only ever do stuff like this when the market is trending. The US dollar, USD has to be trending. How do you know if USD is trending? Um, check the Euro USD. Check the DXY. Just go on your platform and type DXY, dollar index. And then the dollar index, you can see, if, is it ranging? Go on a daily time frame. Is it in a box? Is it making higher highs and higher lows? If it's making higher highs and higher lows, rest assured that Euro USD will trend, GBP USD will trend, um, um, gold against the dollar will trend, all, all the dollar pairs will be trending. So it's only when the USD is trending, this is exactly when you want to obviously be doing stuff like this. Now, over to my last tip. Um, now guys, out of everything I've said so far, the most important aspect of things is your technicals. Your technicals need to be razor, like, like, like your technicals need to be sharp. 
for those of you guys who need still need help on your technicals please don't leave this to chance don't feel like oh i have this strategy guys i've put together an amazing course called the forex mastery it will help you solidify your technicals guys you need your technical analysis to be what on point there's no margin there's no room for error when you're trying to scale your account of this size you're trying to grow a small account to a large you have to consider the forex mastery course as a tool it's so cheap it's 99 dollars you have to consider it as a tool you have two options do you want to take 500 dollars and blow it or do you want to take 500 dollars and invest 100 dollars in a tool that will teach you how to grow your account you know as in making you very technically sound okay so the choice is entirely up to you so guys let me quickly summarize this for you guys first of all um, i advise you to stick to the rules of the game right don't try and outsmart the market okay you guys so when when i noticed that a lot of people when they're trying to grow small trading accounts they make a winner they're like okay you know let me quickly do this let me quickly do this let me quickly do this no no no, no. this is not the time to quickly do anything this is not the time to quickly do not that. This is not the time to quickly do anything. You need to calm down and understand that you only have five lives, especially at the beginning. This is not the time to try and quickly increase your risk. This is not the time to quickly try and catch 50 pips. You have to stick to the plan, okay? Now, um, another advice I have, sorry, I'm just reading from my computer because I took some notes down for you guys. Another advice I have from you guys is you have to understand that some trades will last longer than others. Some trades will end up in break even. Some trades will give you a significant amount of profit and then come back to your break even point. The number one rule in trading is if the market gives you profit, never allow it, take it back from you. If you're 100 pips in profit, make sure to start locking things like 30 pips, okay? If the market gives you profit, it should never come back and take you out for a stop loss. Either you move your stop loss to break even or you move it to maybe 30, 40 pips. You must always want to lock in your profit, right? And guys, another tip is please only trade once at a time. Guys, you only have five lives. Think about it. If, you're, like, if, if they told you today that you only have five lives. I'm sure you'd be very, very careful with your life, right? Think about it this way. So don't try placing multiple trades here and there, you know, trying to outsmart the market. The market will deal with you. It's dealt with me before several times in the past. I know what I'm saying. So guys, don't think you can outsmart the market. Trade once at a time and grow that market um, properly, okay? So guys, last but not the least, um, I want to advise you, before you embark on this whole thing, get yourself educated. I'm not saying this because I have one of the best Forex courses out there. I'm saying this because I'm trying to save you from yourself, like I always say. Check the guys on the Telegram group. You can check my YouTube channel. Scroll below. The way that the Forex Mastery teaches you to analyze the market, you can trade with peace. You can trade and go and relax with your family. You can have a bird's eye view of the market. You no longer have to stress about signals and indicators and all that kind of stuff so guys once again my name is dapo willis um, i hope i've been able to shed some light on this issue on how to grow a small trading account once again it takes a, a sheer amount of luck and your technicals need to be on point i've pretty much built a roadmap out for you right about here i wish you all the best and i have no doubt in you guys that indeed you will be able to grow your small trading account so the top tips from here is your technicals need to be on point okay once you take the forex mastery you should be good with that only do this when the us dollar is trending okay it's the easiest time to trade when the dollar is trending okay trade once at a time okay after seven winning trades feel free to reevaluate your risk okay so i think these are the top tips i can give you i hope i've been able to shed light on this topic once again i love you guys very much don't forget to subscribe and drop me a comment below tell me if this video helped you tell me which of these points you actually love the most all right guys that's my time it's a whole last 20 minute video i'll see you guys in my subsequent videos the link to the forex mastery is below and i'll catch you guys on my very next video take it easy and peace